It's Navi as the heavy favorites taking on Heroic. So Bits will wait it out with Smokes at the ready to try and throw over a flash as well to give his teammate a bit more to work with. And Electronic will capitalize mid-pressure from both teams to start off. What a tone and a tempo they want to set. Minute and 36, and we've already got two kills, both of them going the way of Navi. Tessus and Refresh, gone. Simple, still holding that mid position. Oh, they wanted to go for a run boost, I think, potentially. Or were they just trying to see over the ledge? Either way, they try to move Simple's aim. That's not going to work. Welcome to the Major Simple. He gets his first headshot. That is Katie, and he takes down. But Stowen has the shot back onto him. It's just, just trying to make sure they have no one flanking around. But Donut's been covered, and that bomb's down on the entrance to the Donut, to the a site. <laughs> electronic, man, that's not bad at all. Four kills for him in that round. Yeah, four kills on Electronic, one on Simple as well. Beautiful start to the game, and Refresh just couldn't turn that corner. Pretty solid stuff from the USPs. Like I say, Electronic starting off lovely. Four kills for him, get rolling early. Ready to go over top of that huge double door, that main entrance to whatever fortress, Aztec palace that we are in. But they still have to wrap around through elbow. It's still the long way. That's the thing. The CTs have the granted access to mid and baited. Oh my goodness, baited in. I was going to say Electronic has them all coming toward his gun. A simple try to do more work and bring them in that direction. Hook, line, and sinker. But it's Boomich that has to sink the ship in the end because the dinks were going out. And down one Electronic in the back lines. The interesting thing, too, though, is this time they don't actually contest it in terms of manpower. Obviously, they know they're going to be against AKs. They only have the MP9 still in their hand. But they force out so much utility by having put pressure on it that two smokes already went down. And despite that they want to split onto the A site, it's a tough position to hold now, or rather take, because single smoke back to the back lines. Electronic's going to have his dispelling and dissipating shortly. In fact, there's a gap in it, but the kills are going the way of Heroic. Bomb down, five on three. If, if Electronic doesn't get anything, yeah, I think now they have to make this, the call to save. I think Electronic didn't get anything with that cheeky little angle that he had. He had a small, small opportunity, but now that there's nothing, oh. ooh, he doesn't even get away. He's waiting for the spam to stop through the smoke, and it comes from a different angle. First run on the board off the back of some good entry kills from Shush. First one, actually, excuse me, it wasn't Shush who got the entry kill initially. There was a smoke there too, though, don't get me wrong. They certainly put one. Ooh, simple with the op, got the first one more close up. Oh, oh of course he has that as well, and at a third. That is spectacular. He's at the major and he's not wasting any time. Absolutely not. He's got a highlight within the fourth round of arrival, and Electronic continues to be on form and closes it out. Three to one. Two incredibly close scopes from Simple. Look how calm he is about it. That's just normal for him. Yeah, that's that's just a normal day in the office, a walk in the park. Whatever, whatever platitude you want to give it. That sucks if you're heroic. That feels like you had a did a pretty good job of closing the gap of getting into the site, and that's just what Simple brings to the table. What's up guys, check out hotpizza.gg, a great website to open CSGO cases. Depositing on the website is super easy. Just select your preferred payment method, type my code MESS to get 50 cents for free, and start opening cases right away. Here it's me opening the snowball case and getting a $90 AWP as a mod. Withdrawing skins is also super easy, just go to inventory and select the skin that you want. The process is super fast and you get the trade offer in less than one minute. Also, if you have a skin that you don't like, you can try to get a better one using the upgrade mode. The website has many different modes like case opens, case battles and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. And Tessis is gonna get the bomb plant safe. One flashbang left for the heroic side, but it's on refresh and he's on a big flank. There's a timer on this. Boomich is looking for it, but if he takes his attention away just once, actually even Simple is kind of looking for it as well. He wants to go find this refresh, not moving yet. There it is. There's an easy shot for Simple. Not an easy one for Kadian as he doesn't land on the second. He did get Electronic down. That was back towards CT Connector. Stowen on the boost spot, however, has two. He's got bit down as well. Smoke, he's above Perfecto. He didn't see it. He's tapped it. He's off it. He's trying to stay away. But Simple's so low on HP, they have to go find Perfecto. It's time that's going to matter. He's going to go for the defuse. The knife's going to come in, and he swipes once, hits him, and that's enough to scare him away. And even though they're both low on HP, I think they're going to try but fail on both accounts to get away and survive. Oh, what a weird round. Long A, and now he's starting in Donut with Bit taking up that position. And Simple's gonna get all the attention. 
He's gonna get all the attention, but he doesn't get the first shot. Oh, I love that movement, trying to bait out the shot. Stalin, because Simples go so good at hitting people jumping around corners, but very good air control. And Tessis will take him down. Shush has electronic. This is them absolutely overrunning Navi. Yeah. They might have to call a timeout to see if they want to go back to that aggressive middle or if, if they've got to get something going toward the A ramp because right now they're just getting caught out in the back lines. And the sights have just been attained far too easily. Perfecto wants to grab that AK. But I don't know that he's going to do very well with it. Round might be over. Uh, well, is over, but might be over shortly if they can actually surround him and get the kill. But he's going to try and back his way out. They're already watching the cave. Stalin's actually one step ahead of Perfecto here. And I... AWP, though. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I thought he was going to be scoped in and ready for it. Gets away with one. Tessus for the trade. Perfecto flashed off the angle, uh, angle. And the plant is the objective. And that at least achieved. Nosey's behind the pillar. Good spray down. Stalin managing to use the AK to slide underneath a simple, and that takes out the immediate threat. The other two behind the smoke. They're gonna look for exits. Bit's actually sneaking in quite far here. He's managed to get to Wooden, which means Kadian gone inside of the cave. That gives him an AK. Now, no, oh. Tessus is gonna be in front. Bit, he's got two kills because Perfecto started it off. It's Refresh, 10 HP on the AWP, but finds the first 10 second defuse. He got on it before Refresh could hear it, before Refresh was set up. I don't know that he knows he's there. Oh, he's gonna oh, have that. No. He had that. He absolutely had that, but somehow, for whatever reason, Bit lost his nerve. I don't know if he would have. Ha uh, yeah, I don't. I, I think he. Did. I don't think refresh was going to be that quick to the. That's peak. the question. Was refresh going to walk up and actually take the glance? I'm not sure what got him off that bomb. If you're at that point, you might as well just hold the stick and pray. I, I don't. I don't know. That, I feel like that could have been. I think electronic had to get a little more aggressive or back off sooner. He just didn't have options. Was the big thing. Smokes in both directions. Bit is going to be called upon one more time. Simple can come through that smoke, but Bit has to provide him the opening. And I think he needed the follow-up. Simple's going to come through anyways. And they didn't expect it, but a little bit sloppy as he comes out. Took him a little long to find Tess's, and he couldn't calm it down and transfer it over to the second player. Perfecto left in a one versus two. There's a kit down. There's two kits down inside the bomb site. And I think in this situation, if you're Perfecto, you go for it. Perfecto working his way around. Two kits, as you say, down on the site. He's going to swing it in, but they're going to be staring at this shortly. They have to be. Oh, no, they're not. The timing. Box to protect. He sees one, tries to get the spray, and does do some damage on his down. Not enough. He goes out. They're both there. He nearly isolated that down. I thought there was a chance he gets a refresh in that, but I think Stalin had the trade either way. This kind of stuff, what I just mentioned, is just kind of walking out the a long A. The A holes. And they're going to do it again. Hit. Got it. He went one for one in this position earlier. Now he's got to worry about middle. But actually, I think Kadian just slipped past his crosshair. Simple steps through the smoke and refresh was pulling out the bomb. That's a gift. Now they know exactly where it is. Perfecto gets Kadian down as well. The fact that he snuck through it won't matter if the MP9 can find the kills. And Tessis was overwhelmed. Didn't know where to look. Bit finishes it off. And this time, the hold from the donuts. Flash is over. Boomich. Backs away, Molotov down in front of him, but it doesn't matter because Perfecto has a lineup instead. He gets two, it's eventually him down. The Deagle of Kadian now upgraded onto an AK, but 26 HP, and I'm sorry, Kadian, um, that flash, you're not immune to it. It did blind you because you didn't throw it far enough, but it did keep him at least alive. And at bay, and able to swing around the other way, he takes down, Boomich is simple and electronic, they are back on the case. But what does B hold? Because right now there's two players there, but there's an already leading rotation, if you will, by Simple, who gets into the palace. He's already got one. The plaza position as he takes down Katie and in the hole. And it's going to be Electronic to find Stout immediately after. Shush still managing to make this level, but that nade from Electronic will find Tessis. Hold on, though. Refresh. We said he was throwing utility earlier. Now he's sneaking around very sly in behind Navi. And this flank could be everything. Perfecto's considering it, but what's the timing? Because every time he peeks, he has to look away. And when he looks back, all he does is face death straight in the face. And now Refresh, which way does he go? Checks middle, but the bomb. It's still down toward A at Donut, so they want to wrap back this way, and with the hold at boxes, do they have enough time to run it all the way back over toward B? I don't think so. I think you're going to have to be pretty committed to get that bomb as well, and look at the way, look at how much time they have to spend actually clearing everything. 20 seconds just passing on the clock, and yeah, at least Navi's taking eyes off it. 
I don't know what the timing is to bail all the way back, and I don't think they even want to risk it. Boomich, off angle, oh, can't no. control the spray, and that's a nightmare. Electronic with the nade, it's not going to stop. Oh, it almost stops the plant, and now it does. Refresh got off the plant and tried to readdress it. Electronic's going to win a magical 1v2. A bit of a gift. And he had to run out and play that. It wasn't like dying after time mattered. That was round 15. I wonder if Robwiz did that. I should ask him. To the B-bomb site we go. And an investigation from Tess's and Refresh and Mid. Oh, that timing. The footsteps, though. Tess has just made a bunch of noise. Navi doesn't seem to have heard it. Actually, it might not matter. The double kill from the two duelies. Two's all over the board. And somehow Navi's fighting their way through this. They know Kadian is still here. Simple going to swing out. There he goes. Simple doing a great job. Even well. shooting his teammate in the process. But he had to to get the kill. He's finally going to go down. And somehow Heroic still managed to sustain... So the aggression from Heroic goes one for one, and now more aggression in the mid-round coming from Donut, and Electronic doesn't have the timing. He just looks away. Kadian's got an easy one, and there's Bit trading that back as well. So this gets pretty tight and close, and early in the half, money the factor. This is a big round for Navi to take, so as not to let this game get too far away from them. Good flash timing as soon as the shoulder peak came out, but they run on the back of it. It doesn't really do much because they're not close enough to act on Tessus, which means he's ready to go for the headshot. Slides wide, knowing that he's going to be pre-fired by Perfecto, and it's perfectly dealt and dished as he goes down. Shots to protect. Hmm, interesting. I thought perhaps they'd stick the plant, that Bit would actually take that fight, but instead Simple wanted to bait his own battle, instead goes down. It is all on to Bit, and refresh to go again. Ooh. Damn it, that is a lovely shot from Bit. It is 9 to 9. That's filthy. I can't even believe he didn't go and stick the plant and play the post plan, but fair play. Yeah, those, I'm sure those are conversations that'll be happening in death. If I do imagine, actually, hold the thought, they're gonna come for that. That's a beautiful nade. That's a beautiful nade. So much damage is done. Shush, Molotov is gonna force him back. Important trade from Perfecto. And that's the only defender here, so Navi should be able to get into this bomb site. should be able to get the plant down. Simple boosted, excuse me, rather it's Perfecto that gets the kill, but Simple was the one above. Tessis will turn it around to find the man below that was the murderer in that occasion. As Tessis wants to try and get more of the smoke, they know he's back towards CT. He doesn't need to repeek it. Instead, though, Kadian can slide out. It's Boomich and the bomb. And Boomich wants that bomb to go boom very much, so he will try his hardest to bring this out, to draw this on. Here's one tap, knows the Kadian's there, swings it back and reads it perfectly. The one more's got to be in Plaza, but he's lost track of now. Oh. He's found him now, and Boomich, never mind the bomb going boom, he's detonating on the server himself. That's an important 1v3, because Navi got into that bomb site. Look how intense it is for Boomich. Split towards the B bomb site, it looks like, is the call from Navi. Bit's going to find one kill. That's Kadian starting to push out of Donut. Again, probably to get some information. Tess is pushed down. Oh, he's got a double. Simple. I think he was turned to line up a smoke. Perfecto's got to handle this, and he does. Tessis never knew there was another player there. Shush has electronic, though, and that makes it back to a two-on-two -two with 37 seconds and bit. Cave. I haven't cleared wood, though. It's the only position I haven't cleared. I don't think he's... Oh, he's got to. There's a smoke down. Surely you have to look that direction. Perfecto at least has the information to get the trade. Lots of time to get the plant as well. As on the horse, Shush will rotate over. 44 HP for him. 55 for Perfecto. You do the math, Jason. That's 99. And I am 99% sure that this one-on-one -on -one is going to be exciting. Shush will work his back with the wall behind him toward the site, checking his angles on the way through, and Cave will be the first check. Knows that he's planted behind the box, though. Not a common place to play. Not a place you'd look, but he knows he has to look at every single corner in this situation, and Perfecto's ready for it. It's 13 to 11. It only is, excuse me, only is one player at B, and Shush is the one there with the Deagle. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Good first shot. What more can he do? Electronics low. There's an opportunity for a multi-kill. He's getting boosted up. They're giving, they're giving Shush a lot of time. They're giving a lot of time over to Heroic to rotate over. Four on four. But and Heroic's trying to get in, but there's nothing down. There's nothing to give them cover. Yeah, Simple gets that one back. It was a good shot with the Deagle from Shush. Electronic has refresh. This is still costly. Ooh. This is very costly. It's Electronic that's the low HP player left. And Tessis has not much better off. It's 10 versus 9, respectively. But Tessis has the angle back with the Deagle. And Electronic knows he has to sorely go hunting and somehow finds the kill. That is a risky play with the HP that he had. Yeah, well, Tessis had the read, too. Whew. That round gets close. And here we go, round 27. Molotov's down, Electronic through them, through them, and through two players. Oh, Boomich comes in to help as well. Kadian and Shush 
as well as refresh. And it'll be refreshing for Na'Vi to start this stage of the major, their major, with a win going 1-0 over none other than Heroic, and that will be sweet for them. A lovely storyline, as we say. So many narratives about this game. I, uh, I, I admire the fight that Heroic put up in this game. And I'm, I'm glad we saw them at this level because them competing with Na'Vi at this stage, in my mind, is it shows, it shows a better level than obviously than what we saw in the Challenger stage. But just the fact that they stuck in it through all this adversity and the, the myriad of times where they could have just kind of slipped out of this match entirely. Uh, regardless, Na'Vi, very, very strong. And, and you saw just a number of win conditions, great timeout called, everyone looking at the notes, and from there they kind of figure things out. And a nice solid performance for Na'Vi. Nothing crazy, nothing showing us anything that we didn't already expect from them.